You know, unfortunately, we're living in a time where there are so many young men that's growing up without their fathers. And because they're growing up without a man in their homes, a man to um, be an example for them, to teach them and coach them into manhood, we now have females that's dictating manhood to a lot of these young boys. Their understanding of manhood is completely wrong. Fellas, you ever hear a female say to you, you're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to take care of me. Everything is about her. She don't feel she have to contribute nothing to the relationship or to the marriage. And unfortunately, there are so many young men, primarily so-called black males, that's being controlled and manipulated by females. And she used manhood to do it. You supposed to be a man. So this young boy that had never been taught or instructed on manhood now begins to start listening to this female and now feels that he have to serve her in order to be a man. And there are dudes out there that's actually taking care of another man's baby in the name of manhood. I see that all the time on paternity court where the dude denies the child. He knows the child is not his and then it's proven in court that the child is not his. And then after he find out that that child is not his, after she drug him in the mud on national television, calling him a deadbeat, saying that he's no good, talking down on him, making him feel less than what God created him to be, and now because she cries in the end, after she finds out that he is not the child, then he then says, I'm going to be a man and step up to the plate. Brothers, that is not what manhood is about. You are a man by default. No one has to give you permission to be a man. And no one could take that manhood away from you. The Bible says that God created man in his image and after his likeness. And then when he breathed into man, man became a living soul. After God breathed in man the breath of life, man became a living soul. And then later, he made the woman. He said it's not good for man to be alone, so he made the man a helper. When the Bible says he made the woman to be a help meet for him, that means that he made a woman to be compatible for him as a helper, not as somebody that's just going to sit back, sit home all day and just spend your money and then tell you manhood is taking care of me. See, that's not what manhood is, is about. So brothers, stop falling into that trap. You are a man by birthright, you just have to acknowledge the fact that you are a man. No one can tell you if you are a man or not. No one gives you permission to be a man and you have to prove nothing to no one. A man stands up, he knows who he is. He's aware of his birthright and he's a man regardless of who likes it or who don't like it, who approves of him or who does not approve of him. Because if you begin to start listening to people and allow outside people to dictate your manhood, then you become a slave. The roles will be reversed. And so now you will become um, her helper. She would begin to start uh, taking authority because see, when God made man, he told man to have dominion over the earth, over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air. 
the beast of the land. So you were born to be a conqueror, to conquer, to be responsible, to take care of your family. If you feel that you're man enough to lay down and make babies, be man enough to take care of those babies. Even when things don't go well between you and that woman, you still have a responsibility to take care of that child. And I want to make I make sure I put it out there that just because a man is not in the house or does not see his children or or that's not in his child's life does not mean that he is less of a man. He is still a man. And responsibilities do not make a man. He's a man by birthright. That's who you are. And it's your responsibility to be responsible and take care of your family. This guy that's not in the home or not in the kid's life because that female uh, refused to allow him to be in his child's life. And then when that child grows up without the father, without the direction, the example of manhood, now she then begin to start posting on social media that she need a mentor. See, one of my Facebook friends had done that a couple of weeks ago, was asking about a mentor. Does anybody know of a mentor program? My question was, where's the father? The father should be a mentor. But I don't know what happened between her and the father and why he's not there. I can hear her reasoning, but that's only one side of the story. See, there's three sides to a story. There's her side, his side, and then there's the truth. So I can listen to her all day about how he's not there and he's no good. But then I can hear his side and it's completely opposite. Unless, of course, he's mad enough to say, I was wrong. It's my fault. I was the one that wanted to hang in the street. That's me. But many of these young kids are growing up without their dad because the mom because the dad refused to take care of her because the dad refused to support her expensive habits especially when a female tell you that she's expensive there's a woman one time and i told this story in the past she said she was high maintenance and this is at her husband worked for Chrysler or something. He made a bunch of money. He's been there for years. He got hurt on the job and he couldn't work no more. She now ready to divorce him because she says she's high maintenance and he can't afford her. Then she turned around and said, nobody told him to go out there and get hurt. Now, keep in mind, this man was working and taking care of her and the children. She didn't have to work. All she had to do was stay home and take care of the home, take care of the children. And she failed at that. See, so brothers, there's a lot of y'all out there that's whipped. And you out there breaking your back, stressing yourself, working two or three jobs, working long hours to bring your money home or your paycheck home to that female or your wife. And then she don't appreciate you. She talked down to you. She controls you. You became her slave. And a lot of y'all got to break that habit. A lot of y'all have to break that habit of being in control or having that woman in control of you. You're the man. You're the one that wears the pants in the house. But nowadays you got females that's trying to wear pants. And they're quite aggressive. But see, when you have an aggressive female, one that likes to take charge and control, a real man know how to humble her. He know how to put her in her place. And she will recognize that man and will submit to that man. I'll repeat that. She will recognize that man and she will submit to that man. because. He knows himself, 
He knows that God created him to be a man that made him in God's image and after his likeness. God is not a Rudy Poop. I repeat that God is not a Rudy Poop. If you are a Rudy Poop, if you're lazy, if you're a coward, then I consider you to be a male. But you have to know that you're a man. And once you recognize that you are a man, now it's your responsibility to stand on your two feet and be a man. And stop being so emotional. There's too many emotional dudes out there, man. It's sickening. Stand up and be a man. So feedback, tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.